the second part of the chapter fats oils and detergents is soaps and detergents let us start with soaps soaps are organic compounds obtained from natural fats and oils which are used as cleansing agents for various purposes so you know the definition of soaps very well firstly ordinary soaps ordinary soap is a mixture of sodium salts of higher acids like stearic acid palmitic acid and oleic acid it is obtained by hydrolysis of oils and fats by sodium hydroxide and this reaction is called saponification example this is a fat or oil when we add sodium hydroxide then glycerol is formed plus sodium salts or soap this is called soap these are called soaps rco negative na positive it is a soap all of three these are soaps so sodium salt is called a soap different kinds of soaps firstly toilet soaps it consists of mainly sodium oleate next is laundry soaps it consists of mixture of sodium palmitate and sodium stearate shaving soaps are the mixture of potassium salts of higher acids and are obtained by carrying out saponification with koh in this we uh, toilet and laundry soaps were the salts of sodium while shaving soaps are the salts of potassium then we have ethanol ethanolamine soaps these are used in shampoos and cosmetics toilet and laundry soaps are the hard soaps these are called hard soaps and shaving soaps are called soft soaps a soap molecule consists of a large non polar hydrocarbon chain at one end of which there is an ionic group that means on one end the one end of soap is a uh, non polar hydrocarbon chain and the other end is ionic group the ionic end of molecule is hydrophilic that means water loving water soluble while non polar hydrocarbon end is hydrophobic that means water hating or we can say oil soluble 